Good morning. Thank you for joining the Hype Magazine. Thanks for having me. Uh, I understand we're going to be talking about the new iPhone 8. Yeah. So what can we expect with it? So interestingly enough about the iPhone 8, we know that Apple has an announcement on September 12th, and based on years past, we're pretty sure that there's going to be an iPhone announced at that event. And take any rumor with a grain of salt because they're flying around right now in anticipation of the event. But what we think we'll see are dual cameras. We may see an edge-to-edge -edge display on the iPhone 8. And then we may see some sort of change to the way that you log into the device. So your Touch ID fingerprint on the bottom of your iPhone 7 may either go around to the back of the device or be removed completely in lieu of like finger, or excuse me, facial recognition or iris scanning. So maybe change to how you log into the device. But what I am curious about is the price point of the device. The rumor is that the iPhone 8 is going to cost about a thousand bucks. So it's kind of that time to start thinking about what do you want to do with your old phone? How do you want to sell that old device? Right. So when is the right time to upgrade other popular devices? It's a good question. So with Android devices, and actually with, with the iPhone as well, generally speaking, there's two launch time frames. There's spring, with generally around March, and there's fall, generally around September. So in terms of thinking about when to upgrade and how to trade those in, January, February for the spring time frame and July, August for the fall time frames or when you want to start thinking about trading those in and selling those. Right, because you know most of us have a lot of older tech yeah. sitting around the house. What can we do with uh, that stuff and is it worth anything? It is. Here's a crazy stat. One third of Americans don't even realize that they can trade their devices in for cash. And 58% of Americans, have, myself included, have three devices sitting in the drawer that are just collecting dust. And the problem with that is, you know, tech. I mean, it depreciates incredibly fast. I can see value of having one device stand by just in case your current device breaks. But why not sell that stuff and get cash towards the iPhone 8 or the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or whatever device you want to get? And, you know, in the past, we've had auction sites. We've had uh, post photos and post listings and hope that it sells. And when it sells, you have to worry about the buyer paying and shipping it and worrying about, will it get there? Will they leave it on the door? What I like about declutter.com and sites like declutter.com are that it's quick, it's easy, it's fast, and they pay you cash. How much can people get for their old phones? Oh, that's a great question. So with the iPhone, you can get up to up to four hundred and fifty-one dollars for the iPhone Seven, up to two hundred and eighty-eight dollars for the iPhone Six S Plus, two hundred and eighty-seven dollars for the iPhone Six S, and then on the Android side, one hundred and forty dollars for the Galaxy Note Five, one hundred and ninety-two dollars for the Galaxy S Seven. But what I like about this, and actually when I started learning about Declutter.com, what I did is I went around my house and started looking for everything that I could sell because they do more than just phones. They actually do iPads, iPods, other tech items, DVDs. And I started looking around and saying, hey, what can I sell and get cash for and trade into Declutter? So the site's Declutter.com, but they have apps as well, an Apple App Store app and then a Google Play Store app if you have an Android device. And you can just scan those barcodes and start seeing what you can sell to them and from there, they give you next day cash. So as soon as they receive it, if it's on a Wednesday, they'll give you cash on a Thursday. So it's quick and it's easy. But what I like about it is you don't get store credit. You know, if you were to trade in your phone with your carrier, for example, you would get store credit or a bill credit, or you have to use it at your carrier store. Whereas with this, you could put it towards a new device. You could just get rid of some stuff and pocket the cash, or you could put it towards groceries. Oh, nice. Pretty cool. So where, where can people go to find more information? So declutter.com, and that's declutter without the second E, dot com is the website. And then they have the app as well, and the Apple App Store, and then the Android app and the Google Play Store. And the app is awesome because you can go around and scan the barcodes. But on the website as well, you can just plug in your device. So if you have an iPhone 7, for example, you can pop in iPhone 7, see exactly how much it's worth. And once you click Add to Cart and process it and check out, you get a UPS prepaid label. So it's free to you and then you can mail it back to them, and as soon as they get it, they pay you next day. So the whole process is easy, and what I like about it is you're not having to sell everything separately. You're not having to worry about, you know, you've got 10 tech items, selling each one, one by one, posting them on auction sites. This is just so quick and easy, and you can put it towards that new iPhone 8. Awesome. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me.